What is up, Rectech family? It is I, Jordan Johnson, your <laughs> Rectech Twitter expert, making an appearance on Facebook today. Damn. We Yo. got Chef John. Damn. We got your barbecue dad, Damn. the Rectech expert, Jody Flanagan, Damn. getting ready for Back Damn. to Basics. Burgers on the Rectech. Without further ado, let's get it started, baby. Do, 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 Hey, John! Hey, Jody! Hey, you Show. Cheers to you. Gosh. Happy Fun Day Friday, my friend. Happy Fun Day Friday. The folks out there are lucky mm. that they get to see you on this side of the camera today. I'm telling you, I'm stepping in for our good friend, our master chef, Greg Muller. Uh, safe travels to you, Chef Greg. I think he's celebrating a birthday vacation. Is that right? John, I, I, we always say uh, anniversary. Anniversary, okay. Yes. Well, if you guys happen to see Chef Greg tell out on the road, yeah, tell him happy anniversary. Give him a little pinch on the tookish. Yep. Get a picture with him, maybe win yourself something. You never know. You never know. He's going to have some stuff on him, so just ask him for something for free. That's true. He will he always will. He loves that. Jeff, <laughs> 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 fake laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Fun Day Friday. It is Fun Day Friday, but you didn't. But you didn't pick up the fake laugh. I'm sorry. I need you to pick it up, John. Uh, here we go. You're not amplified <laughs> enough. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. All right. I had to get that out of okay. Sorry. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Thank you for tuning in. You could be watching anyone on the internet mm -hmm. right now, and unfortunately, you're watching us. Well, with the most watched. You're stuck watched. with us. The most watched. But everybody loves watching. That's right. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Uh, that's what gets us paid, and that's what pays the bills at my house. Mine too. So we really would appreciate it uh, if you would share this video all over the internet. That's right. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is Back to Basics week. That's right. That's right. We're doing basic menu items, basic recipes for a lot of the new owners out there. That's and right. A lot of the folks that uh, have a lot of questions mm -hmm. uh, facing those easy, simple recipes. That's right. And this is the culmination of Back to the Basics. The climax. Week. That's right. That is right. And so we're, what are we doing, Jody, today? Mm, today we're doing some burgers. Burgers. Now we've got burgers across the whole board, John. We don't want right. to just have beef burgers. No. Okay. We've got bison burgers. Mm -hmm. We've got some chicken burgers. Mm -hmm. We've got some turkey burgers. Yeah. We've got some burger burgers. Yeah. We got some veggie burgers. Yes. We've got it all for you guys to Oh, steak burgers. Steak You're going to show them how to make a steak burger That's as right. well. That's right. That's uh, right. But we've got it for you guys today. If you have any questions, yeah. please put them in the comment section down below. The Twitter expert Jordan Johnson is going yeah. to try to get to those. He's not going to ask us any questions that we don't know the answer to. That's right. Or the answer is no. Yeah. That's right. So, so don't, don't ask those no questions. Negativity. Yeah, don't don't ask, ask the questions, questions that we have to say no to. Right. Yeah. That's right. Don't even right, ask Jordan. Them. Jordan. They can ask him, but you can't. That's right. I, I would never. Yes. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for tuning in. Now, John. Yes. I love burgers. I know you do. You're a burger connoisseur. We've got, we've got a bunch of stuff on the table here. We do. We almost need a bigger table. We really, Fun Day Friday can barely contain the burger episode. This is rivaling barbecue, without a doubt, in number of dishes. Right? For sure. Oh, Sherpa, for sure. This is exciting for you, isn't it? Yeah, Sherpa loves all the dishes. <laughs> he can't. He cannot get enough. He cannot, we make he loves a lot of dishes. He loves yeah. washing dishes. He does. It's his favorite thing um, to do. But, Burgers, burgers, burgers is right. today. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We are doing everything hot and fast. Yeah. I've got the RT590 and the RTB380 behind us. Mm -hmm. Both are running at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is sitting at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It is not deviating. Nope. It is not uh, fluctuating. Mm -mm. That PID controller has it right, set it right at 500 degrees. Mm. Now, we also have the grill grate sear kit yes. in both of our grills preheating right now. So that thing is hotter than the grill is currently. Um, so it's probably sitting at about 600, 625 degrees Ooh. at great level. Yeah, which is an awesome accessory, Jody. Absolutely. Super awesome accessory. You can find them at rectech.com for sure. Yes, Pick yeah. And again, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, if this is your first pellet grill, pellet grills have two pieces of metal between the meat and the heat source, okay? So there's indirect cooking taking place. Well, in order to sear something, 
you need direct cooking. That's right. All right, so the sear kit solves that problem for us. It heats up with the grill. You put it on the right-hand side of your grill. Now, that's every grill, that's right. whether it's the 345, 9700, or bullseye. Why is that? Because your, your um, temperature probe, your RTD, is on the left-hand side of your grill, okay? So because the plate heats up hotter than the grill does, you want it away from that temperature probe because it's going to confuse the grill. Makes sense. Right, and it's not going to work as hard as it needs to that's because right. it thinks it's hotter than it really is. That's right. Um, so you always place it on the right-hand side and let it preheat with the grill. Uh, it gets hotter than the grill does. So when you cook your food on top of that plate, it's going to give you that sizzle, make that sear marks, give you that visual uh, that you're looking for right. on a pellet grill. For sure. For sure, 100%. All right. So, so John, we've got four different burgers we're going to do today. That's right. We're going to do a double bacon cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's my, that's my Ooh. favorite. Everybody Jerry. loves a good double bacon cheeseburger. Right. The crowd behind us right now is flipping out. Yeah, they say, mm. I know, right? All at once. Yeah. We're going to do people. a double bacon cheeseburger. We're going to do a garlic burger. Mm, Easy yes. peasy, lemon squeezy. That's right. Uh, we're going to integrate. We're going to season it with garlic. Mm -hmm. We're also going to have a nice, beautiful garlic sauce that goes on top. Excited all right, about we're that. All, we're going to do a... Um, Pork, Asian pork burger, That's right. John, that mm -hmm. you're going to assemble for us. Sure enough, are. Um, we're going to do a steak burger. And then we're going to do a steak burger as well. That's, That's right. just going to wow. be normal, but we're going to make it from a ribeye as That's well right. as some ground beef. That's right. Uh, and then we're going to have a caprese burger. Right. So with mozzarella, some basil, some tomato, and a little and bit. I, we don't want to leave out our vegan and vegetarian friends. We're going to do a veggie burger Jeez, as well. Cheese and crackers. I said four, but we actually have like six or seven. <laughs> um, uh, Team. So, yeah. If you want these recipes, guys, make sure you sign up at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. That's right. Uh, fill out all the information. Check all the boxes. That way we can send you these recipes right in your inbox. Uh, and again, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter at right. rectech.com. Yeah. What, is it, what does the newsletter have in it, John? It has all the information of where we're going to be, new events that are coming out, stocked full of there's some blo and blogs in there from Ooh. time to time. So definitely, definitely sign up for the newsletter. It's the gift that keeps on giving, Jody. That's right. That's right. Sorry. So we got some ground beef here. Yes. yes. I actually mixed some ground chuck and uh, ground sirloin. Ooh. So the sirloin is 90-10. Okay. That's the ratio. Uh, the chuck was 80-20. Uh, so I mixed those two together, and it's a little bit leaner than that 80-20, but we've got some pretty patties here. Yeah, super nice patties. Now these, I am not a huge fan of when we're making the double uh, double cheese, double bacon cheeseburgers. I like to go thinner and yes, smaller. Definitely. These probably these are probably a half pound patty. Uh, I go quarter pound patty uh, when we do the double bacon cheeseburgers. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little olive oil on the top of these burgers. We're going to use the olive oil as our binder. Okay. Right? It's going to help our seasoning stick to our burgers. Shoot, yeah, it is. And we're just going to divide these burgers up, season them up with a couple different kind of seasonings. Um, so this first one, Jody, what do you say we do like a, um, what do you got, a Colden's? Well, we're doing your Asian burger, so let's go ahead and hit that with the Jody's Asian okay. Persuasion. All right, we're using that Jody's Asian Persuasion, often imitated, never duplicated. This stuff is absolutely delicious. The Guys, if you have not tried our sauces and spices yet, you definitely want to go check out Rectech.com. Go ahead and make that purchase. Anything Shoot over $99 you. ships for free. Absolutely. That rubbing sauce bundle is one of my favorite products. Yeah. I think it's a lot of bang for your buck. All right, so we're just going to put a little bit over the top. Now, when I Man, season my burgers, I like to let the seasoning sit on there for a minute mm -hmm. so the seasoning could uh, really adhere and absorb into the ground beef. Very good point, yeah. Chef John. Now, are you a like, are you a thumber or a ice cuber or uh, no. a uh, butter, uh, a piece of butter placer? No, no, I'm or old school. Or do you like to just stab at them? Wait. I'm old school. You're old school. Yeah, you, mean, you don't, you don't just, you don't like do a cool trick in no. the burger to make it cook more evenly? No, buddy, no. I just I just patty it up. Me too, man. Let her ride. Me too. I'm not, a huge, I'm not a huge fan of just shoving my thumb uh -huh. in anything. No. But this burger, I definitely don't want to shove my thumb in it, okay? All right, Jody, so you have, uh, <laughs> you need a bowl for these uh, pork burgers? Well, uh, the, gosh, I think, the, that's my pork, I think. Okay. I think this is my turkey. All right, so you're patting up those turkeys. All right, so I got the first ones done with a little bit of Asian persuasion. The next one will be our bacon, double bacon cheeseburgers. We're going to do those oh, yes. with uh, that Ben's heifer dust. So we'll season these right up proper. That's our most popular rub, talking about rubs. That, that Ben's it heifer really dust is selling like hotcakes, baby. That They're salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika. Uh, it really, really... Um, is a good base, yeah. you know, for a lot of different uh, cooking and flavorings. Now, um, those burgers, 
John, to a lot of a lot of folks, probably look over season. Now, Jody, that's one of the great things about using ground beef is that it could take a lot of seasoning. Okay, it's really hard to over season your burger, guys. Really, definitely. So you want to make sure a lot of seasoning is going in there, especially if you're not mixing the seasoning in when you're mixing your ground beef up. Uh, definitely put it on there hot and heavy uh, on the top and the bottom because that's the only heavy, place huh? yeah. that it's going to get the seasoning is right mm. there. That's right. All in them, all in them, girth, all in that girthiness. <laughs> that's right. Jordan well, Johnson, uh, do we have any good questions out there from the folks uh, in Facebook land? They're all discussing their favorite ways to make burgers. They're discussing some of their favorite burger accessories in the comments Ooh. right now, talking about those squirt bottles you guys have on the table there. That's right. They that's find right. Those very helpful. And uh, Jordan, those are squeeze bottles. I don't know what a squirt bottle is. Hey, I know what a squirt bottle is. <laughs> yeah, that's a squeeze bottle. How about guy. this? I'm just it squirts you know. when you squeeze it. Fair enough. I'm not even going to touch that. No, nope, can't touch it. I'm not this uh, this right. is a PG rating. Yeah, this is PG. It's um, our after But, guys, if you're just not joining us, we're doing hamburgers today. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Uh, we're not overthinking it. No. Um, you know, we're taking it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Now, if we wanted to, we could mix in some onions. Oh. Some mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. Some peppers. Mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of folks say, hey, we can do some garlic with that burger. Well, for me, if I do too much or the whole, whole garlic yeah. uh, pieces, they tend to burn. That's a good point. Okay, really and that's going to give you a bitter, nasty taste. So we'll show you uh, today how to do the perfect garlic burger. That's right. Um, but again, you can mix in cheese if you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of different ways that you can do that. We're doing it super super basic today okay everybody um, make sure you smash that share button and share this all over the internet That's three right. two one smash, smash it. it thank you so much for hitting that button jordan you got a good question for I us i sure do brian cody uh he you guys are talking about mixing stuff in he wants to know do you ever mix your rectex seasonings in with the meat yeah yes definitely. absolutely absolutely you can do that me i like seasoning the outside yeah because it creates a nice crust see and i am kind of like in the middle i like to put the seasoning in when i'm mixing up my uh, ground beef because i like to taste it all the way through but i do like that crust on the top so i do put a little in well, there hit me with a little bit of cold in, in that i've actually mixed uh our bison Ooh. with some 80 20 ground beef here the reason why I, I mix it with the 80 20 is because it's got some fat in it yeah that bison tends to be a little bit leaner um, but if you want to taste that bison burger truly you don't want to mix anything in with it Definitely. you know you want to just uh, patty it up by itself right. is it true jody that bison meat really absorbs whatever flavor you're you're adding to it man that is a very good question jordan uh a, a lot of times it can get over yes it can Get, be overpowered by uh -huh. anything that you're seasoning it with. So you want to be kind of basic with it uh, just because, you know, it, if, if you're buying bison meat, you want to taste the naturalness. Right. You know, you, right. you, you want to, um, that, that natural earthy right. uh, gaminess right. that it gives. Now, on that coldest freaking Greek uh, burger, Chef John, yeah. if you could hit that doubly on each side with a little bit of that garlic. Oh, yes, sir. So those will be my garlic burgers Okay. that will put that garlic sauce on the top of. All right. I like now, again, that. I don't like to mix the garlic in with it. Why? Because that garlic can burn okay. uh, when we're at those super, super high temperatures that that sear kit can produce. Okay. In that last row of burgers, I went ahead and uh, give a shout out to our friends at uh, Boar's Night, Night out. out. We're using that white lightning on this row of burgers, and it is so so delicious guys if you haven't checked them out please go check them out we're at atlanta barbecue store atlanta barbecue store uh, dot com you can also go to boar's night out dot com okay uh, but this is the winningest rub on the yeah. steak cook off association it's right really now awesome. it's really awesome John, right. they did have a question. I'm sorry. They yes. wanted to know, they saw you there with uh, the burgers. Yes. You only oiled one side. Is there a reason you're only doing one side? Well, they or? only saw me do one side, yeah, George, but I did, I did oh, both sides. I did it. both sides. So you do suggest oiling both sides of the I burger? I do, definitely. Because okay. right. we're using that oil as a binder. We want that seasoning to stick to the burger. Um, so that's why we did both sides. Can I use the rest of this? I'm going to use it for my steak Shoot. burger. Yeah, buddy. Okay. That, was, uh, that, was the, uh, that was the plan, Stan. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to do an amazing steak burger all right steak burger so what we have in here is the rest of Jody's uh, bison and what was it here bison and what and ground beef and ground beef, beef all right 20 80 20 uh, we haven't put any seasoning in here yet so we're gonna take our delicious ribeye right check that out looks great shout out to our friends at public oh yeah look at that ribeye delicious son. product and we're just gonna go ahead and slice this bad boy up now we're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut yeah. it up real thin into into strips and then uh, we're gonna chunk yeah, it up chunk it and then we're going to mix it in with the ground beef. So essentially, John, you're grinding this up. Yeah. So you're cutting up this ribeye to essentially give it the texture of a hamburger. Yes. So we are making a hamburger 
from a steak. That's exactly what Cheese we're doing. Cheese and crackers, y'all. Cheese and crackers. If y'all want to elevate your burger game right now, smash that share button. Share this all over the world. Uh, your friends have to know how to do this. That's right. I promise you, you will do this every time you make a burger. I promise you, hands down. Jordan, you got a good question? I was just going to let... I see in your eyes. Come in here, Sherpa. I going to let you guys know that we are sitting at 420 viewers from... Hey, 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 Smash that share button. As Jody said, folks, is it the 420? Is it the, uh, is it the Dirty Girl 420 moment right now? <laughs> Not every, quite. Every moment's a Dirty Girl 420 Right, moment. right. All right, guys. So we got our uh, sear kit on here at 500 degrees. It's probably sitting at about 625, 650 degrees. Uh, and it's going to cook these burgers to perfection. Now, it's probably going to take anywhere between 8 and 10 minutes uh, to finish these bad boys off. And that is perfect. All right, so we're going to do nine right here. Let's back on up, sherpy sherp. And we're going to go on the bullseye right here. Now, with the bullseye, you're getting more direct flame action because there's only one piece of metal between the meat and the heat source down there below. We've got our uh, sear kit right here. We're gonna use the flat side. On that other grill, we use the raised grate side. This is gonna give us a uh, different look to our burger. Give us a more consistent sear. So if, you're, uh, if you have a wife or a loved one like I do, um, Becky, my wife, she likes a good consistent sear across her burgers, uh, across her steaks, or anything like that. So that's why we like to use the flat side. Chef John? Yes, sir. That's some good looking steak I over know. there, my all man. Right. So I've got the steak all sliced up. Look, I've got it really, really thin. I sliced it thin, and then when I went and cross sliced it again, so you're left with these really fine little pieces oh, yeah. of ribeye. How good does that look? So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna go ahead and throw it straight into our bowl. Guys, smash that share button. We're showing you how to make the best steak hamburger out there. That's right. All right, now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of oil, but I'm going to use a little bit of sesame oil. Hmm. Yeah. Mixing it up a yeah, little mixing bit. Mixing it okay. up a little bit. Just a dab will do you when it comes to sesame oil. That's right. A little goes a long, long a way, long, ladies and gentlemen. Way. Don't forget, we're going to be announcing, we're going to give away an RT700. At the end of this show, make sure you stay tuned. We're also spinning that wheel of Rectech. All right, so then I'm going with the heifer dust. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong, right, Journey? That's what I put on my steaks. Now, John, Definitely. if we wanted to, could you take some raw bacon? Oh. Cut that up as well and throw that in there you too? Totally could. That would be Woo! totally acceptable, my friend. Woo! And then I'm gonna add a little bit of that boar's night out. Mm. Jordan, got a good question. Uh, it's a two-parter. They want to recap on that temperature. What temp are we cooking at? We're at 500 degrees, and we're using the uh, grill grate sear kit. Sear kit's probably sitting at about 625 degrees, okay? All right. The Jerry. second question, they keep asking this one. This one's a popular one. Uh, could you or why aren't you using eggs in your burger mixture? Okay, that's a great question. You can. I don't yeah. want to make a meatloaf. Yeah, that's exactly right. Good, good. That's exactly what I was going to say, Jody. Absolutely. So, you know, if we were making much larger burgers, uh, yes, uh, we would be putting eggs in this. Um, but no, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, worked at a lot of different restaurants, and all of those restaurants, uh, I've never put eggs in, in my burger. burger. Right. Now, the thing is, so the reason why you put egg inside a meatloaf is because you're usually adding onions, peppers, and other vegetables that are going to add moisture to that, which is going to make the meat separate. So the oh. egg is just some extra protein inside mm. to tighten everything up and Chef keep it tight. Tip. When you're good. making Tip. a burger, you don't have any of those extra fillers in there, so you don't need right. the egg. A lot of that fat is going to hold all that stuff together you're as well. Man. Okay, you're cool. Man. John, why did you use sesame oil instead of olive oil? I put a little bit of olive oil in there too, but I use the sesame oil just to kick up that taste a little bit. It's all about building layers of flavor. Mm. All right, guys, so for our vegan and vegetable loving friends, we're going to cook these portobello caps. Uh, I have marinated them. Yes, yeah, son, I marinated them in some Italian dressing, and I'm going to cook them on the outside edge. That way we get the most direct heat uh, hitting those bad boys and cooking them to perfection. Now I'm going to show you hands down one of the best veggie burgers you've ever had in your life. All right, Jerry, I'm going to patty these up. That. Come on in here, Sherp. Look at this. Look at these fat chunks. Mm -hmm. That deliciousness that's just shining up at me. And you also see, you put seasoning in, in this that's as right. well. That's okay, right. these look absolutely amazing, guys. Smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, Smash it. it. God, it smells but so good out here. We're also going to be amplifying these burgers, not only with the meat themselves, no. but the toppings, mm -hmm. the Just bread. Mm -hmm. The bread, guys, you have to have a good, fresh, 
uh, bread for a hamburger, right. okay? It has to have good meat right. to bread ratio. Yes. You don't want more or harder bread mm -mm. than Talk your piece of meat. Why? Because when you go to bite, ain't. Yeah. You, that is that bread is going to be hard and it's going to compress the burger and make everything slide out right. the side. Totally so you true. have to have a good, a nice soft burger. I'm mm -hmm. not a huge fan. Uh, uh, what's the square? Uh, uh, ciabatta? Yeah. Not ciabatta. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, it's ciabatta. Is it ciabatta? It's They're ciabatta. harder. Yeah, They're denser. Um, I'm not a huge fan of using that type of bread or, or for my buns. Uh, or I'm, sourdough. I'm not a huge yeah, sourdough fan. I'm more airy. Uh, so today we're going to be using some brioche buns. Ooh, we're going to yeah. be using some uh, egg uh, some egg knot buns, yep. some very Asian, mm -hmm. and sesame seed uh, buns, sesame seed buns uh, as well as French bread hamburger buns. Come on, okay? all, they're all very airy, easy to bite through, uh, and have a very uh, good texture, very yeah. buttery, yeah. Uh, and enjoyable. Fresh. Yeah. I went to the bakery this morning, and I got all of these very, very fresh, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, it's going to amplify not only. Because you don't want to have a crappy piece of bread no. for a steak hamburger, no, ladies and gentlemen. Not. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers. So those look amazing. Well, you got to think about it like this too, Jody. That the uh, accoutrements are just the are just the supporting characters for the burger. Right. It's like if you had Michael Jordan, the bur you know the baddest of the bad of burgers, and you had a whole bunch of sorry ass players. Oh man, come on, getting frisky out you here. I like you it. can't do it. You're not gonna win a championship. You're not. You're not gonna have well, that's that. That's why best LeBron burger. had to go around a bunch around, of times. Around, around, around. The supporting characters are just as important. That's right. As the star. You gotta have your Scotty Pippen. You gotta you have got your Pippen. You gotta have your Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Oh, your Dennis Rodman. Oh, Steve Kerr. You gotta have your little threes on the side. I love that Steve Kerr. Yeah. Horse Ron Ryan. Ryan. Oh, yeah. Guys, I love put horse. your favorite burger in the comment section down below. If you don't have a favorite burger, put your favorite basketball player That's in right. the comment section down That's below. Right. We'd love to hear it. Uh, we're having a great day here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. We're cooking some hamburgers up on the RT590, the RTV380. Both of them are behind me. Uh, the uh, 590 is burning the Kingsford Classic Wood Pellets. That's a mixture of hickory, oak, and cherry. Uh, the B380 is burning the Signature Kingsford Pellets. That's a mixture of cherry, hickory, and maple. Mm -hmm. So we got a little bit more sweetness over here. We've got a little bit more traditional, mm -hmm. more heat. Uh, over there on their uh, right hand side. Do we have any room for these uh, burgers to go on yet, Jody? John, did we have a black president? Yes, we did. What was number 40, 40, 43? 44. 44. 44. John. 44. John. I knew. I knew it was 44. All right. I'm, I'm going to come over here and flip these burgers, Sherpa, if you want to check them out. We got some beautiful, beautiful grill marks on here. And again, about eight to ten minutes. We don't want to overcook these. I'm not a fan of a well burger. No. But I'm also not a fan of a rare burger. Okay? I like a mid-rare burger though, Jody. Yeah, mid-rare. Mid-rare is good. Um, but uh, but look at look at just the caramelization, the Maillard reaction on the outside of this ground meat. Looks absolutely amazing. Again, um, just to give you guys a heads up, the heat is coming from the back gap as well as the front gap, and it's convexing in the grill and then exiting. So if we wanted to, you could actually take your hamburgers place them over this gap here and then over the gap in the back. That's actually the hottest part of that sear kit. So you're getting the most amount of heat bombarding. Also, when you flip your burgers, make sure you flip your burgers on a piece of metal that has not Ooh, been flipped on. Uh, that way, you know, uh, when you put your burger on that meat, that, that oh, excuse me, on that metal, that metal's gonna lose a lot of heat. So when you flip it over here, uh, it's gonna get that immediate searing action right away. So I'm gonna talking. put some of John's burgers out here as well. Those beautiful steak burgers. John, you knocked it out of the park with oh, these, thank man. Thank you so much. They're gonna be so delicious. Jordan Johnson, you got a question out there? Yeah, I do. Come on over here, Sherpa. Put the rest of these over here. As long as I've tried to make this a thing, it's now a thing because someone commented it. Kevin Bomber wants to know if we have any hamburger trivia or facts. We actually do. Jordan, do you want to hit him with the, the burger facts? I sure can. Let's oh, do look it, at that. Buddy. Look at that sear, Yo, guys. Early versions of the hamburger have been around uh, for a oh, hundred years. Works. Hundred years. Originating in hamburger. Hamburg, Germany. Mm -hmm. USDA recommends cooking to an internal temp of 160, as Jody is doing right now, somewhere around there. And it's well, synonymous with America. We're going to go before that. 160 yeah. is well, so we're going to do uh, uh, 140 ish. How much carryover cooking is done when you let a uh, burger rest? Ready, uh, it'll come up a sherpa? few degrees, Jordan. Yeah, within uh, 10 oh, degrees, yeah, the burger, look at that the right burger there, will baby. still continue to cook. Look at that mush. I'm a fun uh, so guy, that I tell you. That is the reason why you want to let it rest. 
Jody, yeah, look at that mush on there, boys. Jody, that looks so but look, good. Look at the pooling of those delicious juices um, that uh, those burgers are getting to just hang out in. Look at that caramelization on oh, the outside. Yes. That's what that seasoning, uh, the seasoning paired with that sear kit. Oh man, it looks absolutely amazing. Good job, John. That's now, what I'm you gotta about. have yourself a good instant read thermometer. Yes. Okay, because the thermometers that come with the grills are not necessarily made for hamburgers because they're a little bit bigger. Yeah. So you need to pick yourself up, you know, an instant read thermometer yeah. and you wanna shoot to the proper internal temperature of how you want your burger. You don't you know, wanna allow time to kind of dictate that because right. that's very, very inconsistent. You know, uh, one day your burger could be colder than the next it's day. Uh, uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different variables um, that can go into that. So just make so, sure you shoot for that right internal temperature. Which one do you use, Jody? Me, I, use, I like to use the MK4 Thermopin from ThermoWorks. They are a RecTech Academy sponsor, and we really do appreciate them um, yep. for doing so. But this is a uh, super scientific device. It's very, very accurate. I can yep. calibrate this if I need to. Yep. Um, but uh, you, you've got to know the internal temperature. You really do. You what can't, can't doneness do you two like your burgers? Uh, so John likes mid well, medium rare, yep. uh, and I'm a medium kind of guy. Medium rare for a burger? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Now okay. this is the thing. Okay. So if you are grinding your own meat up, if you are gonna, if you're going to get your own meat really fresh, you could cook you it to the temperature that you want it. Only when you're going out to places when you don't know how old that ground beef has been. Very uh, good point, that's Chef That's when John. I get my ground beef, my burgers cooked to medium, medium well. Okay. Uh, but when I'm making them at home for myself, for sure, cook, cook to your delight. Treat yourself. Excellent, excellent tip. All right, we need to make um, really quick one of those uh, Asian pork burgers, okay. John. Totally I've forgot got about some, that. Uh, I've got some sauce right here for you, Jody, that we're okay. going to be glazing that thing with. All right, so we just take these bad boys and just season them up with some of that Asian persuasion. Okay. And uh, now, these, the pork, the chicken, and the turkey. Yes. I'm not a huge fan of cooking at 500 degrees. No. Why? Jerry? Or this with a, the sear kit. This is a good tip. Why not? Because, John, there is drastically less fat right. in these meats than there are in that beef, bison, you know, anything mm -hmm. else. Okay? So you, these are more likely to dry out. Now, uh, that pork um, uh, or the chicken or the turkey, you know, it can, it can take some seasoning yeah. and it can take some fat. Chopping up some bacon and mixing it in there with it is a good thing. Is a good, good thing. Um, uh, or adding any other kind of fat that you have. Heck, you may have, may have, have, have sliced up a brisket, may have trimmed up a brisket for a competition mm -hmm. or, or a family, and you kept that meat, kept that uh, good fat. You could chop that stuff up and add it That's to great. that, uh, that pork, tip. turkey, chicken, and uh, add some moisture uh, and fat to it. John, right. how do you make this burger? All right, so we have is a pound of ground pork. Jody Gosh got it in the store. Right. Uh, I went ahead and hit it with two tablespoons of that Jody's Asian Persuasion. Oh! I'm going to go ahead and put a teaspoon <laughs> of <laughs> sesame oil. Mm. Yeah, buddy. God. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. And then we're going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit. This is one of my favorite accessories in cooking, uh, garlic paste. You can find it at your local grocery store. All it is is garlic they've already grind up and turned into a paste for you. Just makes life easier. Shoot, yeah, it does. So we're going to go ahead and put a teaspoon of this garlic paste in here. Mm. Yeah, bud. And then hit it with a little bit of olive. And then we're just going <laughs> to grind all this up together. Boy, John, I wish you would have seen the squirter I just wild. had. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> it almost got my eye. Burger, I swear to God. <laughs> Burger geyser. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Safety tip. If you've got a spatula with a bunch of holes on, in it, yes, you can press your burger down and squirt that juice out, and that can hit you right in the face. And that is something, ladies and gentlemen, you never want to be squirted in the face. <laughs> Speaking not of with safety. hot juice. No. Not with hot Lord, juice. No. No. Speaking of safety, is it safe to grill in a on a very windy day? In a tornado? Day? Well, no. Mm. Well, kind of. No. They want to know if it's safe to grill on a very, very windy day. Yeah. It is safe, but just know that when you open that lid, that wind is going to push a lot of that heat out of there. You're going to get more heat loss. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, a little. It's going to take a little bit longer for that grill to recuperate in temperature. Uh, but of course, uh, you can cook in a torrential downpour yeah. if you need to, ladies and gentlemen. These grills sit out. My grill sits outside, 100% of the time, Mine uncovered, yep. and I've never had an issue, except with my metal igniter rod that. We've yep. replaced those, and yep. those are now outdated. We don't even carry those. Yep. We don't even put those in a grill no. anymore. No. 
So, um, but John, did you have like a, a question about, um, God, you did have a question, um, but I guess I'll ask uh, the folks out there if they heard about the court case uh, involving the hamburger. No, yeah, ask him, Jody. Man, um, unfortunately, uh, he was found Grilty as charred. Oh, hey -o. As char. hey -o. <laughs> What's your dad joke of the week? Brought to you by Shiner Bach Beer. There's nothing finer than a Shiner. Nothing. So get out there and get yourself a delicious Shiner Bach Beer. Now, Shiner Bach is a great beer to enjoy with hamburgers, mm -hmm. with bratwurst, mm -hmm. with barbecue, mm -hmm. anything that's got some fat in it. Go out there and get yourself a nice Bach beer. It's nice it's and dark. Yeah. Uh, it's not, you know, as light as a lot of other beers. It's Super got some delicious. got some hits to it. Yeah. And it's also made by the oldest uh, independently owned brewery in the nation. Huh. Fine Cheese people. America. Beautiful. Right there, everybody. All right. So what I've done oh, was... Oh, man, we're going to have a long show today, John. We're already at 30 minutes. Sorry, Whoa. everybody. That's what I'm talking about. We've got burgers to cook and build, so this may be a we long... we got over 400 people wanting to see All right, see so what, what I did like. was I have Asian persuasion at the top of these, uh, form them into delicious patties. I'm going to season both sides. Now, this ground pork is a little softer than uh, normal ground beef is going to be, so you have to treat it a little bit delicately. John, could you do anything different uh, to make that meat not so soft. You can definitely add um, you can add ground beef to this. Uh, you can add ground chuck to this. It's not going to change the flavor profile that much, but it will definitely make it more firm. Okay. All right, you got an open spot for me, bud? John, I have many open spots for you. Oh, yeah. All right, so he's going to put them right there in the middle of the bullseye. Those things are looking amazing. Hey, Sherpa, while you're there, I'll check the internal temperatures of these bad boys. Boop. Right there in the center, we're at about 130, about 140 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these bad boys. They be done. They looking good. Look at that so char, good. that caramelization. Smell smells that are coming off out here. Woo! Buddy. Cheese and crackers, son. So good. But again, we're using the Kingsford pellet. We're using uh, on this grill here. We're using the signature. That's a mixture of cherry, hickory, and maple. Right. On the 590 over here, we're using the classic wood pellets. Uh, and that's a mixture of hickory, oak, and cherry to give you some good flavor. Shout but out to you, kids. Those delicious portobellos are done. They take just about as long as a as a medium uh, hamburger. So about eight to ten minutes. Don't overthink it. Those will be going to be really, really good. John, do you want to? Uh, do you need a big platter yet? Not just yet, sir. Okay. So uh, John's steak burgers are at about 120 degrees. Ooh, so because yeah. he made those steak burgers, those are a little bit thinner. Those are going to take less time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But Jody, we also have a winner to announce. So guys, shoot, yeah, you definitely want to stay tuned. And these for other all burgers are at uh, 140 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off as well. All right, do it, buddy. We got the bread already getting stained warm. Yep. On the let's top go ahead and uh, start cutting up some of that stuff. Okay, I'm a huge it. fan of of um, toasting my buns. Yeah, and we actually set this on top of the RT700, which we had set at 350 degrees, and this bread is nicely warmed. That's just a good tip for you guys. Uh, if you ever need to melt butter or soften butter or keep bread warm, utilize the top of your hopper. Yes, sir. Place. All right, we're going to slice some of this bread up. We got some brioche rolls. And it's then like we'll, uh, I just took everything off because I don't want to overcook it. And then when we want to add some cheese, I'll throw it back on, John. I like that. Okay. Man. Oh, look at this big old platter. Oh, man. We're going to be making some hamburgers today <laughs> soon. All right. Uh, so uh, we've got a couple of different hamburgers going on for the Caprice burger. It's an Italian burger. So we've got some delicious mozzarella. Now, I don't want to melt that mozz too much on it. Right. So we're going to wait a little while on that mozz. Mots. Um, four, the Asian burger. You know what? We're what? not going to use any cheese for that boy, bad boy, because it's not. Yeah. It's, it's not we cheesy. got more of a glaze yeah. to go on the him. Okay. Phrase. But our double bacon cheeseburger is going to get some gouda. Yes. It's, if it's not gouda, it's gouda. Um, <laughs> our or you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. That Asian burger could use some pepper jack because Ooh, it's got a little bit of spice in it. I like where you're heading. So that with could that. go with okay, that. Okay. Okay. Um, we've also got. Um, some different burgers that we'll do that we'll show a little later uh, as well. So make sure you stay tuned. We got some Swiss here. 
Um, so when we're ready to uh, make these burgers, we're gonna they're gonna go super super fast. Super fast, because building the burger is the easiest part. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Cooking it's the hardest part. Absolutely. So let's get uh, what is it? At least get seven buns, John, and let's okay. isolate them. And let's get them uh, toasted. Okay. Seven buns. Here we go. So I would definitely want the uh, egg knot for that Asian burger. Okay. Uh, without a doubt, because that just sounds good. Egg knot yes, burger sure. with some delicious uh, ground sure. pork. Woo! Knocking it off the. T now we've it. also got some sesame seeds buns. That would be a great uh, bun to go with an Asian burger as well. Uh, we've got some of these uh, just regular brioche uh, buns as well, and then we've got some uh, French. Uh, buns, so a uh, smorgasbord of, board of, board of board some of amazing, bread. amazing yeah. breads. Now, Chef John is going to be um, toasting those buns. Yes, sir. Get them toasty. Yes. Yeah. You absolutely need a toasty bun. Why? Yeah. Because it kind of it awakens. Yeah, it really does. That bread, I really do feel like. And for me, on a really juicy burger, if you don't have a toasted bun, it kind of tears the bread when you go to bite into it. I like when it's toasted because it kind of absorbs that moisture Son in there. Man, that's a good point, buddy. This you know? space heater over here is toasting my buns. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, all right, hey, all right. Johnson. So your steak burger, I mm -hmm. think, John, should be that double bacon cheeseburger. So Let's I'm gonna go ahead and put some bacon on there. Okay. You want to grab it. some of that uh, yeller? cheese over yeah, there? Not American? Yeah. No, it's not American. It's, it's uh, Gouda. Oh, it's Gouda? Because it's Gouda. Gouda. There we got some. Coming right behind you with the cheese. Right. The burgers seem to be a popular pick, guys. People are going crazy in the comments right now. Jordan, uh, did, did is anybody seeing their favorite burger in the comment section down They're there? talking about how they love to butter their buns. They're saying if you don't <laughs> If you don't toast your buns, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, the that's right. That's yeah. right. So if you've got some good true. bread, why not toast your freaking buns, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. Activate those buns. Oh, what would uh, Tiger Woods say? He would, he would say activate his glute, the buns. Yeah. Activate the buns. That's right. you got to activate your buns before you swing your golf club. That's right. So we're going to close her up. Hold on. Let me get some John, cheese yeah. on those. Let me get some cheese on those, Jody. Ooh, son of a gun. I'm going to actually move these beautiful... Beautiful pork burgers. Oh, yeah. Oh, you hear that sizzle, guys? Oh, yeah, get in there, Sharp. I put it on the flat side. Oh, gosh, John. It's a little soft. So it's sorry. okay. It's going to go down the same way, Jody. Oh, it'll go down. That's right. Let me. There you go. Look at that. I fixed it, everybody. But smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. We're having a great time here on the Rec Tech deck. That's right. At the Rec Tech Worldwide headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. That's We're doing right. burgers today. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 500 degrees on the grill grate sear kit for about eight to ten minutes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overthink it. No. Now, um, where, where we're overthinking it is in buns. Yes. In cheese. Yes. In toppings mm -hmm. uh, and everything else like that. Yeah. I know. I totally, I totally dig it. I love, I love it. it. Accoutrements are the way to go. Accoutrements are the way to go. Accoutrements. But guys, make sure you're following Rec Tech on all of your social media because you never know when we're going to go live. And I would hate I for you guys to miss out on some amazing content. When are we going live, John? Go ahead and let them know. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Well, Mondays, we are live at 2 o'clock with Mail Mondays. That's on Rec Tech's Instagram page. That's where they get people mail us stuff, Jody. That's right. You open it I up. open it up. He opens it up. We I talk pump about it. He pumps the product. So if you guys ever want to send us anything, Jody, what's the address? Uh, 4301 Evans to Locks Road, Evans, Georgia, 30809. That's right. Send us whatever. We love getting stuff. And then on Mondays at four o'clock we're doing backyard and beyond that's on rectech grills facebook page uh, and it is a great time with your boy chef john oh doing yeah i'm out in the world somewhere cooking up something delicious <laughs> but that kicks off at four and then on tuesday we have tuesday tweets that's at four o'clock it's one of our newest shows right on twitter Right good text show. Twitter page, four o'clock. That's right. A little right. quick show, quick 15-ish 15, 15, minutes. 15-ish 15 minutes, little quick bites of food. Right. Me and uh, the Rec Tech expert. Twitter uh, expert. Twitter expert. Twitter yeah. expert. Hold Not on. Quite. Twitter expert. Not quite. Are on there, and that's at four o'clock. Then Wednesday, we have, what is All it? Right, Big Daddy. Don't we do Ask Us Anything on Wednesdays? Barbecue at noon. And, and that's right, and barbecue at noon. The ladies of barbecue. Here, look at these burgers. Kicking it Sharp. off. They were doing a great Woo! job. If you guys have not tuned in, that is at 12 o'clock on Rec Tech's Facebook page. And then, oh, I forgot Tuesdays. To also, Jordan, we do lunch break. Yep. Tuesdays, we do lunch break on Facebook Woo! at 12 o'clock. Chef Greg or Jody will bring you something fabulous. It's a good time. Definitely tune into that. And then on Thursdays, 
We're doing lunch break. That's on YouTube. That kicks off at 12 o'clock. Let's see their Chef Greg or Jenny doing something awesome. You guys kill it on that. I love, 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 love. I love, love seeing love uh, hanging break. out on YouTube as well. That's right. And then on Thursdays at 4 o'clock, it's Product Spotlight. It's a chance for us to go over products that you guys have asked more about. And then late night on Thursdays, 11 o'clock, your boy, Chef John, Late Night Munchies, Instagram, Rectex Instagram page, every Thursday. And then here we are. It's so Friday, these are my garlic closing burgers. the week, week out. All right, so I found my garlic burgers. I couldn't find them earlier. You couldn't find them? I didn't know where they were. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, so for my garlic burger, I think we're going to do um, the Swiss because I, I didn't have any plans for the Swiss. Okay. So for these I'm garlic gonna, burgers. I'm going to put a little of this sauce on these uh, Asian burgers. Oh, okay, man. Sorry, Jordan, we got any good questions Asian. out there from the Facebook family. They're just pumped about the burgers, man. Everybody's super excited to see which burger is going to be the best. The guess right now is that the ribeye burger is going to be, oh, without right. a doubt. Double okay. bacon cheeseburger ribeye burger. Often imitated, never duplicated. Yeah, don't be afraid of uh, uh, two slices of cheese, ladies and gentlemen. You get a lot of coverage. And ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to smash that share button. Let's do it right now. One, two, three. Smash, smash it. it. Oh, I was three, two, one. Smash it. I'm getting better. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. I did three, one, two. <laughs> oh, man, but we're having a great time out here. Um, if you're a new owner, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. We love talking with our That's customers. 706-922-0890. Right. Anyone who picks up the phone is going to be able to help you. I promise you. Mm. That is right. And guys, please make sure you're following us on our personal social medias. Right. He is Barbecue Dad, Jody Flanagan. I am Chef John Pinnell. And our other counterpart who is off is Chef Greg oh. Waller. Please make sure you're following us. We love getting the follows. Oh, son. All right, here's your sesame. Okay. I don't know if you want to use those for your double bacon. Oh, I think we should, yeah, we should definitely do use these for the double bacon. Whew, those are. Here you go. I got you right here, buddy. Shoft. Oh, God bless, John. Here you go. There, there we go. Pie. There we go. All right, so this is how we're going to do these double bacons. We're going to go ahead. One patty. Oh, Two yes. Patties. What else would we do? Everybody smash that bit? share button. A little bit of, uh, little bit of onion, right? Guys, put in the comment section, how would you finish this burger? Ooh. I would love to know. We're going to put a little bit of watercress. Oh, watercress. Yeah, buddy. What in the world was that, John? That is that lettuce. It's got a delicious uh, peppery taste to it. Oh, it's yeah. Really, kind of like arugula? Really a little bit. A little bit peppier. Oh. Peppier. Peppier? Pepperier. Pepperier. Than arugula. All right, a little okay. bit of pickle, because I like pickle. Oh, Lord, look at that right there. And some of this. so good. Sriracha mayo. What? Sriracha. Sriracha mayo on your double bacon. With that sesame bun. Steak burger. What? How's that look, Jody? Can we put that one on the plate? Where? Got oh, this one done? I don't know. Oh, let me get the. God. Get, this. get out. Get, get out of here. Ha, 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 ha. All right. First one. one's done. First one's done. We'll put it right here, baby boy. All right. All right, so let's just keep building now, Jody. Keep let's building, do it. Let's Bob. Do it. What do you got next? All right, so <laughs> you're about to overtake us. Um, <laughs> we've got, remember, we've got to do the Caprice burger. Okay. Remember, we've got to do the Asian burger. That's right. Okay, so you, egg knot for the Asian. That's right. We'll do a normal bur uh, bun for the Caprice. Okay. Uh, I've got my garlic bun, so I will do this French hamburger bun Ooh, for the garlic I like ones. That. And uh, the. the the vegetable burger, so we don't need any of these buns for the vegetable burger. Right, no buns for the, because we've got something special for it. Got that. something special for That's it. right, because it's okay. a veggie burger. So just stay tuned, everybody, okay? I think you both have inspired bunches of parents today. Bunches! To call their children and say, put that hamburger meat in the sink. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're we doing it tonight, y'all. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's a lot what of I'm time. talking about. Very Bur excited. Uh, garlic burgers I'm off of here. for them. It is a definite got treat baby Swiss. to cook up them burgers. Jordan, uh, we were looking up also some other facts. And how many burgers did it say that America or are consumed in America? Every week, the average American consumes about three burgers. That's about 154 per year. That Ooh, seems wow. high. Wow. It seems pretty high. But when you think about it, you know, you might double up on a burger when that's, you eat. That's true. Because you know y'all finna eat more than one today. All right, I made this beautiful garlic sauce. It's kind of like a garlic gravy. Uh, it thickened up a little bit uh, while we were doing the show. But uh, this is going to be really, really good on this burger. Um, it's going to uh, add some extra garlic yes, depth Jody, do uh, it. to that burger. 
So John is glazing up those Asian burgers. While he's glazing those up, uh, we're gonna do the garlic burger. And I think I said I was gonna use uh, this French bun. So if you want to, if you're a huge garlic fan, yeah, you can put the garlic on there. Me, it's really spicy. It gives you a weird flavor. Um, so what you can do is put a little bit of butter on here, hit it with the garlic powder, Ooh, yeah. and then toast it. That's a good tip. It's kind of like a, a piece of garlic toast. Good tip. Or you could use garlic toast as your hamburger bun, ladies and gentlemen. Don't sleep on that, okay? Um, but what we're going to do is, because I made this garlicky sauce, that's what's going to give us that over-the-top flavor. Ooh. So we're going to put it down there here at the bottom, okay? I am not mad at that at all, Jody. We're going to take our burger, put it right there on top. Then we're going to top it the same thing, same sauce. Smells so good, Jody. It smells super garlicky. This recipe will be available at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. If you're no a garlic kisses. fan. No kisses from the old lady after this one. Yeah, absolutely not. Look at that. Boop. So that is our garlic burger. Look how good that looks. Are those Asian you know what? burgers, John? Those yeah. look great. I didn't forgot to put the cheese on them there, Jody. So I'm gonna throw them back well, in. Well no, I mean you don't you don't have to have cheese on your Asian pork let's, burgers. Let's go ahead though. Let's live our best life. You <laughs> know, I'm hitting the gym a lot lately. I don't get a chance to eat burgers like okay, I used to. Okay, all right, I feel well, you, I big a dog. Man. So I say we treat ourselves and we just go ham on these. Burgers. Hey, come on over here, Sherpa. I want to show him something really quick. Now, because John had a glaze on those burgers, there's a lot of buildup on our sear kit. You can see it right there. So make sure you scrape that stuff off before you put anything else on there. Uh, because that stuff is just going to come off and uh, wind up on your other burgers or That's foods right. or chicken patties or anything else like that. So just scrape all that stuff off. While it's hot now, uh, that way it comes off much, much easier. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, everybody. All right, so I'm gonna take... Uh, All right, what's next, buddy? All right, so I'm gonna bring up, build that Caprice burger really okay. quick. So I am gonna put, I'm gonna loosen up, get my mozzarella loose up on Did here. Did you uh, put those steak burgers on there? Oh, we got those done. I got That's right, those are your double done. bacon. Yep, double, double bacon, bacon steak. steak. So many burgers, we don't know what to do with them. Oh, All right, I'm going to go ahead and start to do that uh, Asian burger. How do you feel about that? I do it, baby boy. All right, what are My we going to do? What bun are we putting on that? Sir, that uh, beautiful uh, egg knot okay. burger uh, right. bun. So what we're going to do is, this bun looks delicious. It's perfectly toasted. Shoot, yes. We're going to go ahead and start with a little bit of that sriracha on the base. Sriracha mayo. Oh, yeah. Right. Give it some of that. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of that Asian persuasion. You know what would be a good addition to that Asian uh, pork burger, John? Talk to me, Jody. Some grilled pineapple. Ooh, so I'm going to throw some grilled pineapple over yeah, here. Yeah, let's go grilled pineapple. You have some on there? Yeah, I threw some grilled pineapple on there All for right, you. we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of bib lettuce. Man, that looks good. Right? Yeah. What else we got in here? We got those chow mein oh, yeah, those noodles. Chow mein Put those noodles. on top. Chow mein noodles. We'll set those right over here. Here's my spatula. We're gonna go right on top. Oh yeah. All right, a little bit more of this aioli. Oh, that's a great point, Brett Norris. You could put the 700 smoke box to use and keep them warm. Absolutely, totally. absolutely. So we, were, we, we had a bunch of stuff Ooh, in the smoke box earlier today, for sure. That's great. All right, stand on the board, Jody. That looks good, buddy. You're All doing right. great. So again, I'm letting that mozzarella from our, our Caprice burgers yep. uh, melt just a little bit. Again, I still want it to be a little firm uh, because that is the nature of mozzarella. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to super, super melty. That's right. So we'll get ready for that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get a nice layer of basil on the bottom because that's basil, baby. I mean, it gives, that's what makes it, son. Nice little layer there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, don't ever think it. Put ourselves some Roma tomatoes down there. Roma. That's what I'm talking about. That thing looks delicious already. That's right. And uh, I hit it with a little bit of balsamic glaze before that burger gets out of here. That's an yes. artisanal burger, Jody. It really is. He's done this before once or twice. Oh, absolutely. Becky loves this burger right here, ladies and gentlemen. Fancy. And then we'll put our burger on top of that. Yes looks great the beauty of this is that as fancy as it looks it's incredibly easy to make all of these burgers were easy to make 
yep. so easy. You guys check out rectech.com forward slash lunch break for all of these recipes. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. You can't go wrong That's right. with getting a rectech. Besides being hands down the best pellet grill in the market, mm -hmm. we've got the best customer service. We also have the best content. That's right. We you are allowing these people to uh, have all of these recipes absolutely for free. That's it. That's it. All right, Jody, let's go ahead and announce this giveaway. Ooh, yeah, let's baby win boy. this giveaway. All right. So, last a week, guys. Uh, we spun that wheel of Rec Tech and it landed Rec on an RT700. So, okay, the dude. winner of that RT700 is uh, Jason Brazington. Yeah. Congratulations, Jason. 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 All Jason. we're going to need you to do is reach out to us, hit us up on our Facebook, DM us. Oh, yeah. We will verify that it is you, Jason, and then we will get that prize package out to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Brand new winner God, for that's, RT700. That son of a gun, Jason. That son of a gun. You mind if I use your knife, John? Please. Use All right, so up. we're going to finish up this veggie burger really quick. So I've got this tomato. Uh, we're going to use this as the bun. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the bun of our veggie burger, okay? Yes. So we will take the top part of our tomato. And then we will take the bottom part of our tomato. Okay. Okay. You can eat this. It's absolutely delicious. So we'll start with a, you use the, I'll use uh, this lettuce, John. Okay. We'll start, don't want it to be too big, too much, so we'll start with a bed of lettuce. I like it. Y'all have some mouths okay. of watering out there. I also, bet we do. My mouth is a Get a little bit of water. onion in here. Everybody loves some delicious onion, especially if you're eating a veggie burger. Yeah, for sure. Jody, is this okay. how they do it in the old country? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll get, we're going to do a double uh, veggie burger. We've got one mush Portobello mush yes we got two mushes marinated in Italian dressing okay uh, we got any uh, what kind of sauce uh, 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 here's some barbecue sauce screw it this is the burger they serve on the day of my daughter's wedding and then you top her all off right there and that's a veggie burger my friends that's well what I'm talking about barbecue that. dad Woo, buddy! You do not uh, disappoint. Bring in the heat. Mm -hmm. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Gosh, we still got to spin that wheel of rec tech. We still got to give something away, John. Yeah. Um, what was the winner's name? One more time. Congratulations uh, Jason, to that old son of a gun. Jason Jameson. Brazington. Jason Brazington. Oh, Jason Brazington. That's you right. old lucky sob. That's what I'm talking you know, about. Uh, David Wright, you look like. You got hit by a school bus. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? Did, did you? He did. He got hit by a school bus the other day. I didn't know that. He what? was walking out. Yeah, yeah. David didn't tell y'all. No, he no. was walking out to check his mail the other day. And it was completely dark outside. The kids get picked up super, super early. Uh -huh. Yeah. And a school bus clipped that son of a gun. What? How crazy is that? Man, that's why you don't live out where there's no street lights. You I'm know what I'm saying? David, gotta, he lives out there in the country, y'all. You street lights and stuff, um, David. Uh, but, uh, all right. I want to make one more burger, John, before we spin that wheel of okay, Rectech. Gosh, do we more. have any? Oh, we didn't even use these. Uh, yeah, we did. Right. We, we used did? sesame. Okay. We used okay. sesame. Which one do, do we not use? Do uh, we not use? We use all of them. So I'm going to use this uh, this French one, and we're going to make a barbecue burger. That's right. Okay. We're going to make a barbecue burger really, it, really Jody. quick. Sorry, everybody. Uh, but so we're going to take one of these patties. It does not matter which one. We'll put it on the grill. Uh, I want to do more direct flame. I'm going to smother it. In barbecue sauce. That's right. Smother. Smother it in barbecue sauce. Okay. That is what I'm talking about. Smother. Then we'll take some of this. Uh, I like Monterey Jack when it comes uh, oh, to yeah. doing barbecue I'm burgers. A fan of the Jack. Uh, or Pepper Jack. Doesn't matter. Just add a little bit of spice to it. Make sure it doesn't fall off. We'll close that up and we'll make a little barbecue burger really, really quick. Now, uh, for the barbecue burger, it's a little bit different for me. I'll put barbecue sauce on the bottom, Ooh, and then I've okay. got a great topping that I love to just finish it off with. But no barbecue burger can be complete without delicious pickles. Yeah. They're just as excited for you to taste this as they are for you to spin that wheel. I heard that. 
They're so pumped about these burgers, y'all. This was a great, great episode. Be sure to share it to all your burger lovers. That's right, guys. Right. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. We really would appreciate it. Johnny, we're going to go ahead and spin that wheel. You ready? Spin that, that wheel. wheel. All Get right, on over here. Get on over here. Cheese and crackers. All right. Let's spin this wheel. Let's go ahead. So what do we do? We went two weeks in a row, RT 700s. Two, baby. Two weeks in a row. Let's see if we let's can make it. Let's get it again. Let's make it three. Tell All right. what's the two rules. Two rules. First rule is you got to spin it with the utmost authority. What's that mean, John? That means spin it hard as hell. Yes, sir. And then the second rule is you have to spin it clockwise. Wow, wow. All right, here we go. Three, two, two one, spin. spin. All right, boys. John, what do they got to do to win? All they need to do is share this video and go in the comment section to hashtag Rectech Lifestyle yes. for your chance to win. Yes. And whatever. What's going to land on, John? Starts. Here we go. What's Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 John. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Giving grills away, we be giving grills away, we be giving grills away, we be giving grills away. How do you get it, John? How do you get it, John? How do you get it? All you guys got to do is share this video and then go in the comment section and hashtag Rectech Lifestyle. Ray Cards might take a look at the tape. That's how we're doing. All right, so melted my cheese on my barbecue burger. We're gonna put it on top right there. Now we're not finished. You can top it with whatever you like. But me, if it's going to be a barbecue burger, yeah. you might as well hit it up with some barbecue chips. Dang straight. Dang, Dang straight, straight, Jody. Let's clear some of this stuff off so we clear can it, baby. Good All right. Smells excellent out here, y'all. I like Those to stack them all up in my hands first, fantastic. like Pringles. Jody's yes. going old school with it. Is a burger a sandwich, would you say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a hot dog. Definitely not. Definitely a sandwich. Two pieces of bread, meat. Makes sense to me. Oh, yeah. Barbecue Ooh. burger. That's what I'm talking about. Boom! Boom! Boom. Man, we got a bunch of stuff up here, John. John a lot of stuff. Ruined your barbecue burger. <laughs> That's fine. It looks great. There you go, barbecue burger. All right, which one do you want to try, John? Uh, you pick first. I want to try the garlic burger. I want to try the steak burger. Okay. I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to grab this guy. You give me that knife, I'm going to cut it in half. Uh, where'd the knife go? You had it last. I had it last and I ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Go hard on that. I do. I go hard, John. All right. I ain't mad All right so we got a garlic burger and a steak burger on deck. Gentlemen, go ahead, give it a taste. Oh, uh, Sherpa, get America. in here. Look at that. Sherpa. Look uh. at that, America. Uh. America, how are you? Woo. All right, here we go, John. Yeah. Happy Cheers. fun day Friday, Happy everybody. Fun day Friday. Mm. Oh. Garlic perfection. Wow. Steak perfection. It really just tastes like a big steak, Jody. So delicious. Wow. That ribeye meat, the pickle, the sriracha, the bacon. Mm. Look at that garlic sauce. Golly, Moses. You did a great job, man. You did a great job, my friend. Guys. It was all the grill. Yeah. The Rectech grill absolutely did everything. Partnered with the Kingsford Pellets. You can't go wrong, you ladies and go gentlemen. Wrong. Go out there. <laughs> it's a messy Woo. meal. It's a messy meal. Directtech.com. Get right. one today. Get one today. Cook you up some delicious burgers. What treat, are you waiting on? You gotta treat your friends, treat your family. You gotta treat yourself. That's what I'm talking about. All right, uh, uh, we gave away something. Yes. We announced a winner. Yes. Don't forget, we go on the air live uh, on Twitter right after, after we this. go off of That's the right. air of this. That's right. No other shows this weekend. <laughs> no. Make sure you follow us on all social media. Set your notifications. That way you know when we go live. Make sure you follow me on social media at BBQ Dad Jody, at Chef John Pinnell, at Chef Greg Muller. Make sure you follow us on social media for everyone here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in the heart of Evans, Georgia. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at the RecTech. Do, do, do. Hey. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rectech last